here's how I got started. Uh, even before King started, I started uh, working with the Civic Leagues, people like that. And I came in 53, you see. I started working for voter registration. And uh, police at that time uh, I, well, had a lot of liquor dens and Negro heads. I got working against that. I worked Civic League to get the ditches closed up. You can tell where white folk live and black folk begin living, you know. And I guess you're right. It was confrontation. I would, I would challenge my own people from the pulpit. I call her names. I had a, a lady named Maud Elm, E L M S. Her husband was almost as dark as this suit. He's very dark. She was as light as this young lady. She's real light. So they were in church that morning. But I'm having good success. I put the name up on the bulletin board, see? And uh, I said, Maud, you re registered to vote? You, I said, have you registered yet? She said, no, Reverend, I ain't ready. I said, well, I'll be by in the morning to get you. I, she said, what time? I said, I'll be by about 7.30. She said, I won't be dressed that time. I said, well, now, wait a minute now. If you don't mean to help you dress, be ready. <laughs> Just like, and, and really, my, I tell my deacons who would pray a long time. I don't want you praying long prayers and can't take a short walk to the boat. So we, I'm, I'm the first church in Birmingham that got all of its members registered. I was chosen for this thing. That's the only way you can put it. Clearly you were. When, what, what was it that made you feel that you needed to push your parishioners in terms of this whole voter registration. I think thing. people need to push them toward trying to act better now and be better because the young people, you know, you got to sort of impress them. And when I was a kid, people have always done that, but you ain't supposed to do your evil in the daylight. <laughs> Crooks don't do that. <laughs> you know, I think you ought to have a standard. And I believe that uh, preachers, our leaders, our teachers ought to, ought to be in a position, not that they are better people, but that they are trying to better people and make people comfortable uh, following them. And then I believe also, if people don't like you because you're right, then happy are you. The Bible says that. So it's a win-win situation if you try to do what the Lord said do. But it's one thing for what the Lord says to do, but the, on the other hand, what Southern white power structure says you're supposed to do is something very well, different. I had, I had met them, and I was just getting. They began to fig, they began to understand that I was here. I did get the city commission uh, to close down a liquor dive uh, right close to another church, not mine. And I, they began to notice me, and and I and I started this voter registration, which at that time was anathema, you know. And but I insisted in going down. Then I started for, for Negro policemen, see. And it was uh, one commission might ne Bull never did say for Negro policemen. Morgan and Jimmy Morgan and uh, the other man Jabba Wagner. If one would say he's for it, the other two is against it, always. <clears throat> I had paid attention to that. So one morning I went down. This was the same year that Emmett Till was found in the river. And I had about a five-page sentence to deal commissioners, blah, blah, blah. Real nice, you know. Uh, we believe Negro policemen, other cities had them. You know, had all that in there, but it was very short. So that's the first time I had a confrontation with Bull Connor. And the commission was set up kind of high, like that thing up there, and looking down on folks at that time. And uh, so they got to the end of the everything. And the commission, uh, Mayor Morgan, who was the mayor, he said, is there anything else? I said, you have our, our, our petition, the Negro police. And Bull Connor spoke. He said, are you Charlottesworth? I said, yes, I am. He said, well, I got something to say to you.
I didn't say anything. He said, well, I think you uh, done more harm to your people than any man ever lived in this city. I said, now, Commissioner, history will judge both you and me. And if you think I'm taking them back, you are the city father. You have things to take them forward by this vote. He said, I ain't going to do nothing for you. I said, I didn't ask you to do anything for me. And so Morgan said, we aren't going to argue. He said, done to me. Bull Connor felt as if he was going to get over on me. So he challenged me, the afternoon paper, see, this is morning, bold letters like my finger there, about three inches. Connor challenges Shuttlesworth. He telling me to take a lie detector test, which he thought I was going to refuse. So I, I sat down and wrote what I did. I said, I'd be glad to take one, provide the commissioner to take one at the same time, not later, and answer certain questions. Was he a Klansman? Did he believe hate Negroes? Blah, blah, blah. It was seven, seven questions. I don't remember all of them. So the morning paper said, Shuttlesworth challenges Connor. <laughs> <laughs> it was interesting. <laughs> so, so I said to him, my statement was, uh, he, he, he answered that, uh, he, his answer was, my, my answer was, yes, I'll take it if he takes it. Blah, blah, blah. So the whole paper, the whole front page was Brock Letters gave, gave, gave me equal treatment at that time. My letters were as big as his. He said, uh, well, it's been over. I believe it was 200 tests had been taken. And never had it been a prerequisite that the commissioner had to take one. So everybody was wondering what I was going to ask him back. And he, he put, but before he put, before he challenged me, he made this statement. And I always just thought about what I was going to say. He said, some of the boys, this is before the headline came out. He said, some of the boys at the station believe that Shuttlesworth knows something about this bumming at his house. I had been bummed there. And I'm going to ask Shuttlesworth to take a lie detector test. So he challenged me, Connor challenged Shuttlesworth. My answer was that Negroes were not nearly as susceptible to committing suicide as some other people. <laughs> <laughs> and I would be stupid to, to plant a bum and get in the bed where the bum was going off. <laughs> 